three hits, five doubles, and 16 RBIs. Also has a long ball in there as well. And Zach Jarrett making his second long ball of the season. So Zach Jarrett finishing off his first campaign of Charlotte 49ers baseball with a long shot to left field as Zach Jarrett comes back around. Home run number two on the season for number 10, Zach Jarrett. I thought we played really well for about, you know, seven or eight innings and we had had the one inning there in the sixth where we just, you know, we, we didn't didn't do some things defensively that we needed to do, or we have been doing really the last probably five, six, seven weeks. and. And we didn't make some pitches that, that we normally would uh, or have. And uh, then it kind of snowballed. And Southern Miss does what really good teams do. They take advantage when you make a few mistakes. And, um, you know, Southern Miss got a great program. They've been one of the elite programs in Conference USA. And they're used to being in games like that. And they're used to being successful in games like that. This one is chipped up into right center field. Back goes Hudson. Not in time. The diving attempt. Two runs, actually three runs were scored. Durst comes around all the way from second. We had a chance to, to, to win a series against a really good program. We just we, we didn't take advantage of it. I think that, you know, we're just, we're still not where we need to be to compete with the upper, upper echelon of Conference USA. I think we'll get there. I think there's reason for optimism that we're gonna get there. Um, but we need to try to make that process happen as fast as we can. We got eight seniors, you know, and and uh, really proud of all of them because a lot of them had reduced roles, you know, as, as the season went on because we were playing so many young guys and new guys. But they didn't ever cause problems. They didn't ever uh, do anything that was negative towards towards the program and towards their teammates. And I have a lot of respect for them for that because that's not a that's not an easy pill to swallow. And they're all going to be successful. They're bright guys. You know, we had four graduated this this term. We had two others that are in graduate school, and and then the other two are in line to graduate. And they're they're going to be successful. Um, you know, I'm proud of the fact that their parents have raised them the right way, proud of the fact that they decided to come to school here, and it's going to be fun, uh, you know, to, to be able to hang around with them, you know, at alumni functions moving forward.